Hi friends, my name is Sushmil and today we are going to discuss F5 load balancers. So, what is a load balancer? In networking industry, load balancer has different meanings. But what we are going to talk about today is a device that will balance the load or share the load on multiple servers. Okay, so let's imagine a client reaching to a server. This is any medium, it can be a private or a public medium, it doesn't matter really. So let's say this guy is a client, wants to access a service on this server. Right, it's easy, there's no problem, performance is good, everything is working perfect. The problem arises when the number of connections on server starts increasing. From 1 it goes to 10, from 10 to 100, from 100 to 1000, tens of thousands. And then we start feeling that the performance is low. The reason is CPU utilization goes high, performance automatically goes low right so it depends on the number of connections that your server is getting if it's a very popular server you'll face this problem what is a remedy one remedy is use the best servers that there is you know use the servers with the highest configurations the best configurations let's say this is the best one still you'll feel the crunch Right? still you will feel the problem in your network now there's only one option option to add multiple servers replicate the service on all of them right now let's say there is this DNS system now what you want to do is you want these clients to go to these servers but load balance right you want few connections to go on this one few on this and rest of them on this server there are multiple ways of deploying one way we would say is include the DNS system in this let's say this server is xyz.com add three IPs to it let's say 100.0.0.12 and 3 when first client would like to go to server uh, xyz.com it will query DNS server DNS server will return with an answer saying that xyz.com is 100.0.0.1 packet will go here next second guy second client comes in for xyz.com DNS system now will point at second entry because it goes in round robin fashion you will be moved to server 2 third will go to server 3 fourth will go to server 1 and now you're load balancing the problem with this system is that let's say this server goes down somebody who wants to reach xyz.com goes to DNS DNS says xyz.com is 100.0.0.3 it tries to reach there but fails why because there is no way that this DNS server knows that 100.0.0.3 is down along with that this is a problem right along with it we cannot use a lot of things that a separate device which is near to your server can do for example SSL offloading right very important feature that your load balancer can give you a device which is near to your server right so now we will see deployments of load balancer we'll see we'll do the same exact thing but with the help of load balancer this is your load balancer these are your three servers that we were talking about they are connected to the load balancer and these are our clients they all will go to this cloud maybe a private cloud or a public cloud depends right it goes to the F5 load balancer the name of the device is big IP 
big IP F5 is the product's name right so what will happen is now the traffic comes here goes to this private or public network comes to F5 right so you know it's a tactic we actually fool our clients and tell them that xyz.com is for example 20.0.0.1 just one IP address so who is this IP address this IP address is the IP address on the virtual server that we have configured in here so on F5 we configure virtual server and we give it an IP address called as virtual IP VIP this 2001 and when you receive a connection on your virtual server you can do a lot of things and the major thing is load balance you can tell your F5 device that if I receive a traffic on 20.0.0.1 balance the load on these servers interesting right so now what we will do is we'll see some nomenclatures that we use in F5 load balancer technology okay these are physical servers right this is a physical server right X Y and Z they have an IP address of course so let's say this is 10.0.0.1 10.0.0.2 and 10.0.0.3 these are called as nodes so in our case we have three nodes 10.0.0.1, 2 and 3 but we all know that you know when we talk to a server when it's a server client or any any type of communication it's not just about IP address it's also about the service the service that we are running on it so let's say this is a website and it is running HTTP as a service which is we all know TCP port number 80 right so that means on this X server we are running 80 80 and 80 on Z as well when you add a service to a node this becomes your pool member so 10.0.0.1 is your node but 10.0.0.1 colon 80 is your pool member so pool member is what a member of a pool that means you have to create a pool which is this this is your pool in this pool you have one pool member two and three pool members right of course this server might also be running 443 as a service HTTPS that's okay that would be a part of a different pool because it comes out to be 10.0.0.1 colon 443 on the same node this is the second pool member so in one server we can have multiple pool members right so we have seen what is a virtual server what is a virtual IP what is node what is pool and pool member right now the problem that we had with DNS that you know we will not be able to see if the server is down or not can we remedy that using F5 load balancer yes we can so what we do is there is something called as monitor we keep on monitoring these nodes or pool members depending on what we want to monitor using something called as monitor so we keep sending these probe signals you know on these interfaces 
it's basically one interface going to three different servers there is a switch somewhere here let's say so we'll send these probe signals checking if the node is up or not right so we will say okay x is up y is up z is up everything is fine let's say x goes down if x goes down f5 will not be able to receive the reply from 10001 and then it will understand that x is down right so this is how we know that x is down and now f5 will not send any traffic to this x so there will be load balancing on 10002 colon 80 and 3 colon 80 this pool member will be automatically removed let's say sometimes you know what happens on servers you're running 10001 and service 80 your 10001 that means your physical server your node is up but 80 service is down can happen right so if you're checking if the node is up it's not helpful because you will see that you know node is up fourth guy comes in goes to f5 goes to x it tries to reach port 80 for http doesn't get that why because it's down so that's not helpful that's why you will have to monitor the pool member right so, so you can configure monitors in such a way that you are able to track a service on a server impressive right this is what your monitors do okay so this is a five load balancer in a nutshell this is how it all works this is how we load balance and everything okay so uh, in the next video what I will do is I will try to explain you the deployment scenarios of f5 and then we will see the actual implementation of it right so that is it from my side thank you very much I hope it was informative I'll see you in the next video